Audi is tightening its grip on the premium super mini segment with a five door version of the A1. It's called the A1 Sportback and here it is. Now, you're probably thinking Audi have just added a couple of doors at the back, but I promise you there's a little more to it than that. Firstly, this Samoa orange paint job and this full length contrast roof, well that's unique to the Sportback. It's also about six millimeters higher, six millimeters wider and Audi promise us that makes the interior much more spacious. Let's find out. Now, Audi claims there's more headroom and more legroom in here, but it's not exactly what I call spacious. I've set up the chair in front for me. I'm about five foot eight. And yes, I fit behind, but it's a little bit cramped. I think six footers are gonna find it a squeeze. As you'll see in this test car, we've got a plastic center console with some cup holders down here. Now all UK cars are gonna be five seaters as standard, but getting three adults in the back, well, that's gonna be nigh on impossible. In terms of boot space, well, it's 270 litres with the seats up, fold them down and you get 920 litres and that's on a par with the three door. As you'd expect, there's a big choice of engines on offer. The cleanest is a 1.6 TDI with CO2 emissions of just 99 grams per kilometer. The fastest is a 1.4 TFSI with 185 horsepower, but the most interesting by far is the brand new engine we're driving here. It's also a 1.4 TFSI with around 140 horsepower, but it's got some really clever cylinder deactivation technology that we've already seen on the Audi S8. Now on light throttle loads, it can shut down two of the four cylinders and that saves you loads of fuel. The result is 60 mpg and CO2 emissions of just 109 grams per kilometer, which is impressive. And it's a fantastic engine. There's loads of power, it loves to rev, it sounds great, and it's a really good match for the A1's personality. In terms of handling, well, it's a similar story to the three door really because it's light and it's small, it feels agile and really keen in the corners. There's also an electronic differential at the front which helps break the wheel with the least grip and that slingshots you out of corners and makes it feel like there's loads and loads of grip. As for the interior, well, it's a really high quality as you'd expect from an Audi. Loads of nice materials and it really is a step up from anything else in this class. There's loads of technology too, as you'd imagine, and my favorite option is something called an MMI 3G system. Now that turns the entire car into a Wi-Fi hotspot, so you can hook up your iPods and your iPads and surf the web whenever you like. As long as you're not expecting masses of interior space, then I'll have to say the A1 Sportback is a roaring success. Yes, it commands a 560 pound premium over the three door, but those extra rear doors really add another string to its bow. And when you consider it's just as good to look at and just as good to drive as the three door, well, it makes the smaller car look a little bit pointless. And that's why Audi reckons two thirds of A1 sales from now on are gonna be the Sportback.